Hey everybody, welcome back. Man, Peter from A Therapeutic Edge, thank you so much for sending some knives out to me. This is one of them that I get a chance to review. And you know, you probably saw the other one, but this is an Off-Grid Knives Scorpion. And this is part of their Elite Series, you know, and I have to tell you, the quality on these is next level. And you know, it's one of those knives that you know, have you heard of off-grid knives? Have you seen some of their products? If not, get a look at this one because flipper-wise, it fires right out. Now you can see the logo on there and stuff. These are built, this series right here is built for off-grid knives by the Wii Knife Company. So they teamed up with them. You guys know how much quality goes into the Wii Knives. They're awesome. So pretty cool that they have this one out. And part of their Elite Series, this one's a blacked out version of the Scorpion. Comes in CPM S35 as the blade steel. You can see right there the Off-Grid Knives logo, the Elite Series logo on it. And look at that blade shape. Now this is a, a knife that Peter uses. So you will see a little bit of, you know, scratches and a little bit of wear on the blade, those kind of things. But overall, S35 VN. And I have to tell you, this one is pretty smooth. Flipper fires right out. It's running on ceramic ball bearings. And I don't know, this is a frame lock. So let's look at the lock up right there. Getting about 30%, almost close to 35%. And it's solid. There's no blade play whatsoever. This thing is super tough. Now, a cool part is when I first picked this up, I noticed it was pretty pretty heavy for a flipper this size with carbon fiber. So I'm like, okay, let's look into the specs of this one. Now, you can see the blade already has a perfect, perfect kind of black wash knife uh, or blade, I should say, the, the blade steel, just because of the fact that it's not giving off any re light reflectivity at all. You see a little bit of wear right there. That's just from use. Um, that's going to be expected on any sort of your or your blades that are, you know, Cerakoted or black wash, those kind of things. But you can see how much beauty it still shows, even with being used. Now, I will say the titanium scales on this is what ends up giving it the weight. So uh, for the titanium itself, they're using, a you know, the 6AL4V, which is, I think, the grade 5 titanium. They put in just that awesome grip on the back edge of the scales. And, you know, so if you were to use this knife in a different fashion, maybe a different kind of grip, something like that, this goes all the way down. Your thumb's gonna rest right here and it's just gonna be solid. It's not gonna slip off. Or when you have it in this position, that you have that little bit of a, a thumb ramp right here on the, on the blade. We got some jimping built into that. It locks right in, locks into the back of your hand. This isn't slipping out of your hand whatsoever, no matter what you're cutting. Now for me, the frame locks, I always get a little bit of a hot spot where my middle finger kind of goes right here in between the two. That's just gonna be a little bit because these edges right here, um, you know, they're not rounded, but they're cut at about like a 45. And let's see if we can get that angle showing on there. So you can see kind of the angle itself. You see that edge right there. That's where I get a little bit of a hot spot. I did some light cutting with this. Thank you, Peter, again, Therapeutic Edge, uh, for just letting me check this one out and test it. In and out of the pocket, super, super smooth. It's got a deep carry pocket clip, right or left-handed tip-up carry. So you can see the little cutout. I like the way they do this. So you got a little bit of that, you know, countersunk. So a lot of your pocket clip sits in there. Now the screws stick up a little bit, but for me, I had no problem whatsoever. And overall, I mean, the pocket clip, is very tight. So now you can see that cool look to it. It's got that carbon fiber inlay and you know, just beautiful. Kind of a basket weave carbon fiber, black hardware. You got your, you know, pivots that are just dialed in. You know, they got the design on there. So they thought of everything on this one. Now it does also come in two other styles. Now this one comes in like a satin blade style with the same handle, or you can get an all gray washed version. So it's pretty cool. So if you go to the website, um, you know, offgridknives.com, they have it for about $207. Now, 
specs on this one, you got a four inch blade. And for a four inch blade, fits pretty good for me. You know, I have a large glove size hand, so I got a little bit of extra right there, but it gives you that freedom to just kind of use it however you want. It flips out really easy and it carries decently thin in the pocket, which I was kind of surprised with. Now, overall, you're looking at an 8.75 length on this one. And then closed, you're at about 4.75. So pretty cool overall. What do you guys think of this one? Have you guys seen the off-grid knives? Have you got a hold of this one, the Scorpion? I, I actually hadn't tried this one. I've tried out a few of their other ones, Mamba and stuff, which they're really well built. And I this one just right, right in line with it, you know? Titanium, S35VN, you have that wee knife quality of the build. So there's no, there's no questions in my mind at all in regards to the build quality. And like I said, locks up rock solid. The cool part I found is off-grid knives, and I wanna confirm this because I wrote it down over here, lifetime warranty. I mean, come on, you can't beat that, right? So overall, this is one of those where it's like, you know what? We got to dial this one in, but let's do a couple comparisons because I want to show you size wise what you're looking at. Now, one of my favorite knives, as you guys know, is the 940 Osborne. Don't mind the scratches. That's what you're going to get on a coated blade when you use it, you know, but this is a pivot to pivot comparison of the Benchmade 940 Osborne compared to the off-grid knife Scorpion. A little bit thicker, taller in the handle, you know, but blade length pretty darn comparable and then overall thickness let's look at that and compare that uh, just a little bit thicker not much just a little bit so i really like that so let's compare it to a couple other knives just so we can get a good idea of what we're looking at now this one is the benchmade griptilian this is one of those that you can see it's a little bit longer in the handle obviously just a smidge maybe a quarter of an inch and then another probably quarter inch in blade length. So the Griptilian is going to be much thicker on this one. As you can see right here, just a smidge thicker, you get a big, bit bigger belly through here. You know, who doesn't like a bit bigger belly? And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty impressed with that one. But, and then just for giggles, let's go ahead and compare it to a Benchmade. Actually, let's do the Spider Co. Let's do the Spyderco Para 3. Because I know a lot of you guys have Spyderco Para 3s. This is one of my favorites. So you can see the size comparison right there. Anyways, I'm digging this one. I think it's a really good, well-built knife. I think it's one that it's not gonna let you down. You know, it's solid, it's a frame lock, it's titanium, S35VN. And if you were a little bit hesitant on off-grid knives, you have that backing because you know that the Wii Knife company has built this one to last. So anyways, that's my quick look at this one. Thanks again. Shout out to A Therapeutic Edge. If you haven't checked out his channel, please do so. Also, if you like these videos, please leave a comment down below. Also, hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Bring you more content, more fun. Most importantly though, make sure to do something kind for someone and have a great rest of your day. Take care.